few weeks of summer, folks. So if you're trying to refresh your home, maybe the decor is stuck in the past, but before you toss out everything and start from scratch, you don't need to do that, folks. Our next guest has some easy and affordable ways to refresh any space. Here to explain how it's all done, interior designer Paul Brockman. Paul, welcome back to the show. Thanks. And if people at home are wondering, our set does look a little different today. You sort of zhuzhed things. Well, yes, I gave it just what I call a refresh. A First refresh. of all, your set did not need any improvement. I mean, the set, your new digs are so wonderful. Thank you. I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I just wanted to uh, come on and illustrate that you can um, really give your room a new look and what I call a refresh without having to start over. Okay, and Paul, we do have a few photos that I, I wanna pop up on the screen to show our viewers sure. because, Paul, you do everything to help people with design, whether it's a simple design consultation or a complete turnkey makeover. This is a living room that you dressed up. Yeah, you know, this is an existing client of mine and I had done her room originally and she came to me and she said, Paul, you know, I'd, I'd like to give it literally a refresh, but I don't wanna start over again. And this is a great example of, we did replace one item in this room and that was the coffee table. Everything okay. else stayed the same. Wow. We loved her sofas, they were, they were working great. So, and then we had uh, some custom pillows made, which you see, those, the, you know, the pops of red and white. And then, you know, the uh, brand new coffee table, and then we refreshed accessories and added some botanicals, which we'll be talking about a little bit too. And it's so great that you kept the couches because a lot of people may think that they need to buy all new furniture with the exception of the coffee table in that photo. Exactly. You kept it all. Let's talk about kids' rooms too because you can yeah. apply this same design theory to a child's room. Exactly. And, you know, I had another client, um, and I had helped with her room originally, and she was at camp this summer, and her parents came to me and said, we want to do, again, a refresh. Let's do something so when she comes home from camp, it'll be sort of an exciting reveal. And again, we, we, we bought one piece in this room, the bed. Everything else stayed the same. And I did add a rug, which I think we'll be talking about in a little bit too, but total transformation. Total one transformation. bed change, adding a rug, I refreshed her accessories. I kind of moved a lot of things she already had around um, anyway. And you can see that it was a complete um, kind of a, a new look for her. When she got home from camp, she was very excited. Uh, well, I'm sure. Yeah. As kids grow and change, I'm sure the refreshes, you know, happen a little more frequently sometimes than adults. Let's talk about yeah. our set specifically. Sure. We do have a before photo of our set, and then uh, and there's our lovely brand new set we've had for... Uh, six weeks or so now. But Paul, you came in and you changed up the pillows. So I believe we have a before shot of that. And well, it's a live before. It's yeah, a live after shot of that. <laughs> With so our let's pillows. talk about these pillows because these are beautiful. They're also a little bit bigger than the ones we had. Yeah, you know, I took a, I took a look at your um, existing set and I thought, well, what would be a, a good way to illustrate? And again, these are all tips I think people can, that are accessible that you can do on your own. So. I thought, well, let's go with the theme. I kind of went with this blue-gray theme, and I added a lot of texture. So, like, these are pillows, and this is sort of on trend now, to sort of have a little bit more of this earthy texture going yeah, on. Yeah, it feels, it almost feels like a, a heavy linen or a heavy cotton feel. Yeah, and, you know, the other thing I want to stress, too, is that, you know, I buy pillows all over for my clients, and you can get spendy with some things, but these all came from home goods. So... The Home Goods in River Oaks is sort of like, you know, my, my drop-in place all the time when I need accessories and pillows, and I got all of these there. I don't think there's a pillow that we put on the sofa that's more than 29 or 30 You're kidding. $35. It is true. Sometimes, I mean, even at stores where you wouldn't expect the price to be so high, pillows can run 60 80 more than that. Okay, so right. pillows are a great, easy inexpensive if you can can shop for a deal right a, a great option yeah. let's talk about lampshades because this is something also that you say is an easy and inexpensive way to yeah change. and I mean I did this myself I you know I w went through my house one day and I thought gosh I think I need a, a lampshade revisit so um, again accessible things that are really that you can grab I um, for an example like this is a lot of a lot of people have a traditional cone shape Yeah, the shape is you know um, uh, lampshade and okay. and you know just to show you and illustrate like just to take one lampshade and you know you remove I'll hand that one to All you right. and then um, we'll pop on a new lampshade and you know oh, there yeah. you go and you know, like this particular one I got these at Target they are $19 no 
And as you know, shades can get expensive, they too. They certainly can. And this, I don't know if the viewers at home can see, but this has this beautiful herringbone pattern and texture in it. This looks way more expensive than 20 bucks. Exactly. And so, for me, I think this is just such a great tip. And again, very accessible. Anyone can do this. And Target has a great selection of lampshades. I mean, again, you can go spend a lot, but I think start there. I even bring my lamp in with me so you can kind of play around. I mean, you know, bring your lamp in, throw it in the shopping cart, go try some lampshades on. Wow. And, uh, you know, oh, walk you out. business. I'm yeah. impressed. Okay, let's talk about these orchids uh, be behind us. Sure. These giant white orchids. We always have orchids at our house. Love them. Some people may struggle with keeping them alive, though. Exactly. And actually, I wanted to bring these in to illustrate that um, in the last couple of years, they've really cracked the code on these. These look real. They're fake. And they're fake. And I have a real quick funny story. We had given one of these to a good friend of ours for a home warming, home, home warming president, present, and, uh, and I sent it to the party, and she sent me a thank you letter two weeks later saying, Paul, you wouldn't believe it. I haven't killed it. <laughs> I've been putting an ice cube in it every week, no. and it's still alive. I'm so happy. She was watering the fake plants. I know, and I said, we've got to tell her to, like, <laughs> dump the water out of the bottom of it. So. Yeah. So anyway, I mean, that's really how real they look. Well, and I thought they were, when I walked on set today, someone had commented on the fake plants, and I said, no, the orchids, those are real. No, they're not. They're not. Where do you find them that realistic looking? Okay, though? now Where can you I, buy those? yeah, and this is a shout out to um, Lamb Bespoke, which is, which is a great um, um, home decorating interior design store in Houston. They've got two locations, one on Alabama and one, one near city center. And um, my friend Kathy out there who owns the store has such a great eye and she's brought in some of these really good botanicals like um, even this um, hydrangea on our coffee table here <laughs> is, you know, fake. Check that and it's out. Got the, it's got the acrylic water fake in it. water in it too. And you know, my, my point with these is, I don't know about you, but I've spent small fortune on orchids. Oh yeah. And out they go in two weeks, no matter how many ice cubes you put in them or how I you know. try to or keep them alive. hydrangeas. These are Brandon's favorite. The water turns nasty. You've got to replace them. You've yeah. got to dump it out. That's a great way to go. A little more spendy to begin with, but they'll last but you. But when you amateurize it over the course of your whole you know, life in the room, it's really a bargain. Yeah. And, you know, the other thing is nothing adds or breathes life into a room by adding something simple like that. Fresh fake flowers. Okay, yeah. we got to move on to the mirror. Sure. Now, you know, adding a mirror in your room can accomplish several things. If you've kind of got what I call a dead corner, adding a mirror acts like a window. So, you know, you can kind of, you know, bring some light in. It's reflective. Think about where you're going to put it and what it's going to reflect back. Sometimes if you put it in front, um, uh, or in a space where it'll reflect back out to the backyard, you're kind of bringing the oh, outdoors that's cool. in. But, you know, this particular mirror, um, this is one of my favorites. It's from Ikea. And this mirror is, I think it looks modern and clean. I was just going to say the style of this mirror is so beautiful. It almost looks like one of those deep set uh, window box, like picture frames. Right. And this is $19 at Ikea. I mean, you cannot beat this. Does it come in other colors, too? It does. It comes in white. Because sometimes the black mirrors, you know, they show dust, uh, and, you, and they require a bit but, more and You know what I'll do in a room? I'll, I'll group three of these in a row, horizontally or vertically, and it just, it just creates this great open effect. Yeah. And um, it's just like for 60 bucks, you can open up a whole corner of your room. And they even come in a larger size, which we have back here. Oh, wow. um, and I love to do two of those over nightstands in the master bedroom or any bedroom with a lamp artwork. in front of it. I love the concept yeah. that it replaces a window. Very quickly, uh, yeah. rugs. Yeah, another thing you can do to refresh your room, and again, not to break the budget, is to put a new rug in. And I love to put rugs in kids' rooms and, and, and you know places where active families are going to um, really get some use on them. And there are some great... Um, there are some great places online that you can get, and I think we're going to put I the... I see some samples hiding there. Yeah, and we'll, you know... We'll make sure we have the, the, well, uh, the info online. Yeah, and you know, the thing I want to illustrate is a lot of these, um, they're the, the technical term is they're polypropylene, and all that just means is it's a solution-dyed 
uh, fiber, which means the color is infused into the fiber. You can clean these with bleach and wow, solutions. So they're not going to fade. They don't fade. You can put them in kids' rooms. If something gets spilled on it, if you know you spill red wine on it, it's not ruined. They're not expensive. They are beautiful. So instead of like, oh my God, getting stressed out about a big investment for a rug, I think we, we're going to show some online that yeah, um, we just popped it up there. Yeah, a 10 by 13 rug for $400. Paul, we've I mean, got to leave it yeah, there. That's it. Rugs .com, uh, is, is the rug resource he just mentioned. But, Paul, your website is paulbrockman.com. So if anyone at home would like more inspiration, uh, just visit the website. Paul, it's great to see you. Thanks so much. Thanks.